Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. We have negative 4 to the power z equals 4 and we're going to solve for z. Now before we start solving this problem, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. Uh-oh, negative 4 to the power z is equal to, well, there's no graph because you can't really graph it. When the base is negative, it's kind of a really weird story because if z is a fraction, like 1 half, what is negative 4 to the power 1 half in the real world, right? Anyways, no real solutions. There's not even a graph. So let's see how we can solve this problem. Again, the problem was negative 4 to the power z equals positive 4. Now, if we had negative 4 to the power z equals negative 4, then you could say, hey, z is equal to 1. Obviously, that would be one of the solutions because we're looking for complex solutions, right? Now, obviously, you could replace the z with a plus b i and take a look at some interesting stuff. Or if we had 4 to the power z is negative 4, again, that would be no real solutions. Anyways, let's go ahead and proceed with this one. I'm going to write two things. First, negative 4 can be written as 4 times negative 1. And in the complex world, I can write the negative 1 as e to the power pi i. If you think about it, the argon plane negative 4 is basically expressed as a point which is 4 units away from 0 on the real axis, right? Because that's a real number as well. And then uh, its argument, the angle, is just going to be pi radians, right? This is negative 4. That's pi radians and modulus is 4. Make sense? So this is how we can express negative 4. In other words, that's how you can complexify negative 4. Make sense? Let's do the same thing for 4. 4 is 4 times 1. And 1 can be written. Now, for 1 is here. Think about it. 1 is going to be on the positive real, right? So we can basically use an argument of 0 or... 2 pi or 4 pi radians, in other words, any multiple of 2 pi. So let's just go ahead and use 2 pi k for that. Okay? Awesome. Now, sorry, my cat is playing with the light fixture. Hopefully, she's not going to cause any issues. All right, it's good now. Let's continue. So, 4 can be written as 4 times e to the power. 2 pi k, which is a multiple of 2 pi, multiply by i. Okay, by Euler's formula, you can basically write any complex number as r times e to the i theta, where r is the modulus, theta is the argument. Okay, now let's go ahead and make the replacements, but before that, I'm going to talk about the definition of the complex exponentiation. So, whenever you have something like w to the power z, of course, in in standard form, it will be z, probably z to the power w is more common, but since our exponent is z, I want to stick to that. Basically, w to the power z can be written as e to the power z ln w. Make sense? Okay. That's how we can define it. And now, negative 4 to the power z, just replace uh, w with negative 4. That's going to give you e to the power z times ln negative 4. Now, you may not know what ln negative 4 is at this point. Don't worry about it. We'll get to it. Okay? So, we got negative 4 to the power z, and we also got 4 as 4 times e to the power 2 pi ki. Right? Cool. So, we got these two things. Let's go ahead and set them equal to each other. e to the power z times ln negative 4 equals 4 times e to the power 2 pi ki. And now here's what we're going to do. We're going to ln both sides. And when we do the natural log on both sides, we're going to go ahead and this is going to be z ln of negative 4. And when we do ln here, it's going to be the ln of a product. So think about lning this and, of course, lning that, right? That would give you ln 4. That's the real part. Plus ln e to the power, that's going to be 2 pi ki. And this is actually the, the pretty standard form if you have z equals r e to the theta, ln z is going to be ln r plus i theta. Make sense? Okay. Now, 
we have to divide both sides by something, right? But let's go ahead and write the negative 4 as what? 4 times e to the power pi i. And then set it equal to this again. Okay. Now again we get a product, so let's go ahead and turn this into the sum of two logarithms ln 4 plus ln e to the power pi i and normally people would write this as log and then uh, you know uh, but log means ln here at the same time sort of okay this is what we get and then when you move this pi i to the front you're going to get pi i times ln e which is 1 so don't worry about it you're going to get z times ln 4 plus pi i we're almost there and then we're just going to divide both sides by this and that's going to give us the answer right cool now this reminds me something if k equals one half was allowed think about it then z equals 1 would be a solution, right? Think about it. Replace k with 1 half and you'll get 1. But unfortunately, that's not possible. So, because k is supposed to be a integer. Did I say that? I probably forgot. But anyways, k is supposed to be an integer. All right? Let's just add that to the notes. So, k can't be 1 half. But k can be 0 if, for example, k is equal to 0 then we get z equals ln 4 over ln 4 plus pi i. Obviously, we can go ahead and rationalize the denominator. Wait, did I say rationalize? I mean, multiply by the conjugate. That's what I meant. These are not radicals or, you know, reals. Uh, we're going to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, which is going to give us this. And then, if you distribute, you're going to get ln 4 squared minus pi ln 4 times i divided by ln 4 squared plus pi squared because i squared is negative 1 so it's going to be negative i squared and plus 1 okay so you can also separate this and write it as ln 4 squared if you want over ln 4 squared plus pi squared minus pi ln 4 over ln 4 squared plus pi squared times i. So a real number would not satisfy this equation, negative 4 to the power z equals 4, but a non-real complex number like this one would satisfy. And if you want to plug it in and test it out, be my guest. It's going to take a while, but you can do it. Why didn't we multiply by the conjugates here? But that, that would be kind of more painful, and I'm going to leave it as an exercise. All right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. Keep up the good work. And bye-bye.